Taking the bar is a daunting task and most people don't ever really know where to start. So where should you start? For me, when I started prepping for the bar, I knew that I wanted to treat it as a job. I stopped working for the summer. I rented my own personal office space that was away from my home so I could have a clear distinction between here's home, here's where I'm working and studying. I personally think that it's really important to have somebody in your corner that knows exactly what you're going through, that knows exactly what the struggles are that you're going through, or knows just how stressful that this time period is. So for me, I found that in having a bar prep buddy and my bar prep buddy is actually my best friend. So she and I rented an office together. We stayed at the hotel in between the two days of the bar together. We studied together. We went out together to decompress. We traveled together after the bar. We were there every step of the way. I think that that really helped a lot. It gave us an outlet that wasn't just our boyfriends or our significant others that didn't really know what was going on, even though they could empathize that it was a hard thing. During the bar itself, we decided that the best bet was to not talk to anybody else, not hang out with anybody else during the actual test days. So on exam days, we would go to her car, my best friend's car, and we packed like an ice pack in a lunchbox and brought our own food and we blacked out the windows with sweatshirts and sunscreen and things like that and just sat in her car and listened to music and watched TikToks or YouTube videos to try to decompress in between the sections of the bar. For bar prep, I used Barbary. I completed 100% of the course. That was really important for me because I wanted to feel like I at least saw everything in the bar prep course that I needed to in case something random came up. I also used Adapt-a-Bar to really work on multiple choice questions because multiple choice questions have always been hard for me. That is absolutely not my strong suit. I am better at writing and being persuasive than I ever have been at multiple choice. So I used Adapt-a-Bar to really just kind of hone in where my issues were and really focus on those parts. So I would do a set of Adapt-a-Bar questions, then review my other bar prep materials, such as my outlines or the note cards I made, or I used JD advising short sheets I would review those and then go back to keep working on multiple choice questions. Finally, I think the most important thing for me was giving myself grace in the fact that this is the hardest thing that I have done. I wanted to do it once and be done with it. So I knew I really had to put in the work, but I also knew that if I did not take breaks, I wouldn't do well. So for the first month of bar prep, I would spend every weekend doing something fun. It would be like my treat that I looked forward to at the end of the week. So every Saturday, it was either hanging out with friends or going to brunch or a baseball game or something like that to really look forward to. And then the second month of bar prep, I really focused in and I would go, <laughs> I actually would laminate my note cards and my short sheets and I would take them with me to the pool so that I was at least getting sunshine and vitamin D, but I also could take my notes with me into the pool and review that way. And I think that that also helped me decompress, but also I felt like I was doing something. All in all, I feel like having somebody that can be your bar prep buddy, knowing where your strengths and weaknesses are and really focusing in on that and being honest with yourself. And if you need to take breaks, take breaks because you would rather take a break and be able to work hard the next day than just kind of half-ass it for two days in a row. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, you can find us at versustexas.com for more information.